class, we're going to start this lesson by looking at some different plants. This is a banana tree. It's most commonly found in tropical climates. These are clovers. We look for them, especially four leaf ones in March. These are evergreen trees, and you probably commonly know them as Christmas trees. What you see here is a close-up of a fern. Here you see grass, bushes, trees, all sorts of plants in this picture. This is a Venus flytrap plant, and it actually traps its insects inside of its leaves. Here are two of my most favorite flowers. This is the hibiscus. It's found in tropical climates and especially in Hawaii. And this is the yellow rose bush. So one thing we noticed out of all of these plants is that they're all green. Even the trees that have brown trunks have green leaves. And the flowers that have all sorts of pretty petals, like my favorite hibiscus, have green stems and leaves. So our big question for today is, why are plants green? To find our answer, we need to start by taking a much closer look at plants. So we're going to zoom into plants where we find that they are all made up of cells. We've already started really learning about cells, but for a review, we're going to watch this quick video. Today's the day we're gonna learn about the cell. If I teach it okay, you'll know it very well. So listen up, sixth graders, no room left for haters. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about the building blocks of life, cells that make us. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. Try to pull a fast when the cytoplasm gels. The nucleus takes over, controlling everything. The party don't stop till the memory box is seen. Inside the vacuole, we can float around for hours. Running around with chloroplasts, loving sunlight showers. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. two different types animal and plant cells that make up all life the little things that make up microscopic cells the main structures yeah. yeah we call them organelles now let's break it down and get some information how do cells work it's a crazy combination cells cells they're made of organelles try to pull a fast when the cytoplasm gels the nucleus takes over controlling everything the party don't stop till the membrane box is seen inside the vacuole we can float around for hours running around with chloroplasts loving sunlight showers cells cells they're made of organelles the cell membrane is a border patrol. Who can cross over? The membrane lets them know. The gooey stuff inside is called the cytoplasm. It holds the organelles. Don't worry, plasm has them. In the middle of the cell, you find the big brain. The nucleus surrounded by nuclear membrane. Don't forget the vacuole. It's filled up with water. It's a basic need for life when the rat keeps getting hotter. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. Try to pull a fast when the cytoplasm gels. The nucleus takes over, controlling everything. The party don't stop till the membrane box is seen. Inside the vacuole, we can float around for hours. Running around with chloroplasts, loving sunlight showers. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. The mitochondria is something every cell needs. Breaking down the food and releasing energy. There's a place inside the cell where chemicals are stored. The squiggly goopy bodies releasing even, even more. Yo, hanging in the cell is endoplasmic reticulum. Synthesizing and enzymes for respiration. And, and none of you still think that this wrap is whack? Remember ribosomes making proteins Good getting jacked. jacked. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. Try to pull a fast when the cytoplasm gels. The nucleus takes over, controlling everything. The party don't stop till the membrane box is seen. Inside the vacuole, we can float around for hours. Running around with chloroplasts. Love and sunlight showers. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. Looking at the plant cell, weird and green. Two more parts is all it takes, you see. Cell wall knows what's up when it comes to keeping structure. Strong with cellulose, the cell can't get much tougher. C H L O R O. Plast, these little green machines are having a blast. Photosynthesized and filled with chlorophyll. They, they hit the cell club, club running up a high bill. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. Try to pull a fast when the cytoplasm gels. The nucleus takes over, what? controlling everything. What? The party don't stop till the membrane box is seen. Inside the vacuole, we can float around for hours. Running around with chloroplasts, loving sunlight showers. Cells, cells, they're made of organelles. So, let's take a tour of a plant cell now. And remember, we're trying to figure out why plants are green. Let's look inside of a leaf to take a closer look at a plant cell. First, we encounter a protective cell wall outside of the plasma membrane. The cell wall is made from strong cellulose fibrils. Once inside the plant cell, we see the large central vacuole, which regulates the composition of the cytoplasm, 
creates the internal pressure that is characteristic of plant cells and stores various compounds produced by the cell. Plants make their own food by photosynthesis in chloroplast. Light passes through the two membranes of the chloroplast and strikes these green disks, where light energy is converted to chemical energy. The sugar molecules made by photosynthesis can be made into other molecules or broken down for energy. All plant cells have mitochondria, just like animal cells. Sugars produced from photosynthesis are broken down and converted to ATP by mitochondria. So that's a tour of a plant cell talking about all of the organelles in a cell. But the most important organelle to look at when you're curious about the color of a cell is the chloroplast. This is because chlorophyll is found in the chloroplast, and this is also where photosynthesis happens. So look at a chloroplast real fast. Chlorophyll is what actually captures the light from the sun. It's a special compound that can grab the sunlight and start the whole photosynthesis process. There are four types of chlorophyll, types A, B, B and D. You'll mostly find types A and B in plants, and there's not really that much of a chemical difference, just kind of one strand changes between the two of them. Chlorophyll can also be found in many microorganisms and even in some prokaryotic cells. However, as far as plants are concerned, the chlorophyll is found only in the chloroplast, and that's what makes them the most important organelle when you're looking at color. See, not all of the light from the sun makes it to the surface of the earth. Even the light that does make it here is reflected and spread out. The little light that does make it here is enough for the plants of the world to survive and go through the process of photosynthesis. Light is actually energy, electromagnetic energy to be exact, and when that energy gets to a green plant, all sorts of reactions can take place to store energy in form of sugar and molecules. But remember how we said that not all energy from the sun makes it to plants? Even when light gets to a plant, the plant doesn't use all of it. It actually uses only certain colors to make photosynthesis happen. Plants mostly absorb red and blue wavelengths. When you see a color, it is actually a color that the object is not absorbing. So like in your clothes, the color that your clothing is not absorbing that's reflected is the color that you see. In the case of green plants, they do not absorb light within the green range. They only absorb the red and the blue. So the green light that's not absorbed, we see reflected. And here we start really talking about the absorption spectrum. As shown in detail in the absorption spectra, chlorophyll absorbs light in the red, which is the long wavelengths, and the blue, which is the short wavelengths, regions of the visible light spectrum. Green light is not absorbed, but reflected, and that is why plants appear green.